emails, text messages all day long. And one of my uh, friends from around the world asked if I could do a tour of a Rolls Royce Silver Wraith. So uh, without further ado, we're going to discuss right now the uh, 1980 Rolls Royce Silver Wraith, what you're looking at right now. Uh, these vehicles here are Silver Shadow, Silver Wraith. Uh, they were built uh, between 1965 and 1980. Uh, the first body, this was the first Rolls Royce to use unitary body and chassis design, uh, bringing it up to the uh, standards of all the other vehicles. Uh, there was only 30,057 Rolls Royces Silver Shadows made, and uh, this particular model being a Silver, uh, there was only 2,135 of these made. So why don't we take a look at this, what we're looking at here. Uh, this one is a 1980. It's a long wheelbase. Uh, it actually is four inches longer than the standard Silver Shadow. Uh, you can see it has the Everlast roof on it. You can see uh, most of the Silver Race had that cover on, on the top. Uh, we're actually going to walk around the outside right now. Uh, we have all of the tri vehicle weighs 4,000. Uh, almost 4,800 pounds. Uh, you can see that the wheels have, uh, hubcaps have the wheel locks on them. Uh, you can see, we'll actually get down there so you can see that. There you go, you can see the wheel locks down there that hold the hubcaps on. Uh, it's all aluminum bodied along with all the uh, steel and metal in there. As a matter of fact, the Spirit of Escacy, those are handmade at the factory each and every one uh, this example here is a mason's black over chestnut brown uh, you can see uh, for the the uh, rolls royce uh, the round headlights the fact uh, the round ones here uh, in the front uh, the low beam and the high beam uh, everything the turn signals everything is uh, 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 machine screws and heavy duty chrome uh, this is a fine example this is we owned nine of them over the years silver shadows silver wraiths uh, silver spurs uh, left hand and right hand uh, we're actually going to come back around here you can see uh, the silver wraith has the smaller window in the back as you can see the smaller opera window than the standard silver shadow would have a longer wheelbase these have the chrome uh, with the black bumpers on them uh, for united epa um, laws all right, we're going to open it up. You can see how heavy the doors are. They actually have triple hinges on there. The wood is uh, solid wood all the way across there. You got the leather interior all the way around. Uh, as you can see, I actually have a dash pad on this particular model. Uh, the, the dash pad is all original under there. Very nice. As you can see, we have the ignition switch over here on the left. Uh, you have these switches that are attached to that. The braking system, this is the heart of it. This is the Christmas tree of this particular vehicle. Uh, brake pressure one, brake pressure two, parking brake, brake fluid, engine overheat, low coolant, washer fluid, stop lamp, ice, and low fuel. Uh, we'll talk about the brake system here in just a moment. Uh, we have the Lucas and the uh, Jager uh, speedometers you can see all the way across all the wood work here in this fine auto to keep it cool because in the summertime the heat gets so hot on the uh, leather seats that are here we actually have the sheepskin floor mats as well uh, the upper uh, headliner that's the Wilton uh, uh, up there the headliner is in perfect shape no questions about that uh, we'll actually open the back door now the reason the silver wraith is a longer wheelbase you can see the difference uh, if you had a silver shadow you it's a lot smaller in there by four inches which makes a big difference uh, most of these had uh, the window it had an electric window this particular model doesn't have it I actually keep a blanket on the back seats as you can see the seats are in all excellent shape there as well the uh, seat, uh, seat belts and such uh, we can see there over there what you're looking at over there is just a reflection of the uh, sun coming through. There's no damage to those seats over there. You can up there, they have the uh, rear mirrors back there. Those lights come on as well. We're actually going to go in and we're going to take a look at the motor right now. Uh, we'll take a look at the engine. This particular model here has the 6750cc motor. There it is right there. Uh, you can take a look at that motor. It's a big Rolls Royce motor. It produces and uh, 90 horsepower. 
uh, for this big. This is the braking system. This is a uh, hydro pneumatic, hydro pneumatic suspension from Citron, which actually uses two brake accumulator spheres under there. Those two brake accumulators, uh, half of it is filled with nitrogen, the other half with RR363, uh, I believe, brake fluid. And um, yeah, 363, you can see Castrol. Every one of these, uh, short of taking it out, sandblasting it, priming it and repainting it. Uh, other than that, uh, it, you just leave it alone. Um, many of the parts here, uh, it's got a three-speed transmission, the three-speed uh, turbo hydromatic 400 from a General Motors. Uh, the air compressor is General Motors. The power steering, that's General Motors part. Uh, the alternator, uh, the alternator is an AC Delco generator. This particular one has the AC. We actually uh, changed the, the Lucas generator out uh, uh, about a year or so ago. Uh, the radiator, it actually has a big radiator in there to keep this thing cool. As a matter of fact, there's a radiator fan inside that Rolls-Royce grill. As soon as the key comes on, it uh, automatically uh, kicks on and cools the uh, radiator and the uh, uh, fluid. Uh, we actually have the uh, SU carburetors. There's two SU carburetors on this particular vehicle and uh, those no usually have to get rebuilt. The uh, floats in them uh, leak and then they sink down to the bottom uh, causing the gasoline to run over the overflow which then needs to be uh, taken apart and new floats put in. As you can see, uh, 37 years old. Uh, the vehicle is very well thought out uh, with a Rolls-Royce again. Uh, the carburetors are always a maintenance issue. The braking system is a maintenance issue uh, and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, it's a very well running car. Uh, they're they're uh, very beautiful, graceful as they drive down the road. And you just, uh, when you pull in there, you can always get somebody to say, wow, what a beautiful car that is. Uh, I actually prefer these uh, made by BMW with uh, the Phantoms, the Race even though they're four or five hundred thousand uh, dollars you can pick these up uh, very reasonably uh, you can up somewhere of upwards of maybe five thousand uh, dollars the one that's going to need work up to about thirty thousand uh, one that's in uh, pristine shape they, they still hold their value here uh, and you can pick Hemmings motors and stuff like that uh, the thing you want to watch out when you're buying one of these number one the braking system if the lights are on brake one or two uh, automatically you're going to need the brake spheres redone uh, I actually have the capability of repairing those spheres uh, you have to pull them out uh, dismantle them rebuild them and put them back together uh, the valves always go bad on them as well those need maintenance too so once the brake lights come on you're actually if you're going to a dealer you're going to be looking at two to three thousand dollars minimum to have a brake job done on this this isn't like any other vehicle very complex system it actually is tied into the hydraulic system that actually levels the automobile as it's driving down the road so two spheres under there uh need to be rebuilt along with the um with the uh, valves that go along with them. Uh, brake most of these cars have been sitting in garages. Uh, the floorboards, the floorboard, especially on the driver's side, uh, actually the water is caused from this right here. As this grill here, there's two drains at the bottom of this. Uh, you take, you lift the hood, you screws out, this comes off. And there's two drains there. What happens is the drains get clogged by the car. It actually goes over inside and comes down into the floorboard. So at a lot of times, if you're looking to buy a vehicle, make sure you pull the, the uh, carpeting up and make sure that the floor is not rotted out. Even though it's been a garage kept car, a lot of times if it uh, water gets in there and it gets plugged, it's going to end up rotting out. So that's not you can actually just have a new floor uh, welded in there or just uh, put the catalytic converter they put the catalytic converter directly underneath the driver's side on the floor too close to the uh to the uh, floor and the heat comes up so you actually put a um, have a shield installed and that will eliminate the problem other than that the cars are beautiful automobiles timeless beauties each and every day no matter what you're talking about one of the finest automobiles on the road today i hope you enjoyed the tour today uh any more questions pick up the phone 561-693-8636 
coming to you live right here in sunny south florida mr sunshine tour of a rolls royce silver wraith 2 a 1980 thank you for watching